How do you see that got these ugly ass sneakers at the store and I feel like isn't there like a gang affiliation thing is with like red color and blue color or something? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what I just want to be safe. I just want to play like I want to just get regular white Nikes. You guys sell uh, sneakers here? No. Like regular sneakers? No? No. I guess Kodak gets up and walks out of a lot of interviews though, so I hope he doesn't do it with ours. Any ice over there or not? I don't want to like flex on them. Mouth the uh, sticker. I mean, I don't is know. Is this sticker wanna... on your chain? Yes. No, this is the tag. This guy I just bought it. It's 100k. The thing on this one too. No, I know. Do you have scissors, Let me see. How much is that really? I'm excited to see Stani because I think Stani's kind of nervous. I'm not nervous. Yeah, dude, this is just like where I shine at moments like this. You're the one that's like freaking out right now. Who's gonna be there? I'm gonna tell you something. I don't have a free go. <laughs> what about Nabu Dhabi, buddy? <laughs> So, so far from the truth, <laughs> I don't ever go. You gotta be high, bro. Ball and pass me the blood. Oh boy, here we fucking go. Now we're in Kodak's house. Oh look, we got a plaque. Maybe we can put them into like a clock. Little golf cart day. Beautiful photo. What's up, bro? Full Sand Podcast, kicking it with the Smikes, KTV is going down, a lot of surprises on the way. Man, you need music here or you good? You good? Yeah, yeah. good? You good? You are a great man for doing this. Alright, we got Kodak, the man. We're in your mom's house right now? For sure. It's dope, we've been chilling here for a bit. Um, yeah, one of them. One of them? Yeah. How many houses she got? Two. Two houses? All in like Florida area, that's crazy. No, I uh, I'm gonna tell him the backstory. I just I was I was slapping the album and I just DM'd you off Nelk Boys off her account and I, I forgot I DM'd you a long time ago and I said we should film some shit and yeah. then you just hit me with the this emoji like the like I don't know what emoji. what is that sure. I don't know what else it's like whatever, whatever it is yeah. oh is that what it meant whatever <laughs> yeah and then I I don't know I didn't say anything back and then uh, I saw the album was out so I was like fuck it we should have him on the pod and then. Uh, here he is. You were iffy about it again, but then I told you I was like, "We'll get you three X what the Breakfast Club got you," Most and dead. and that's what you got interested, right? Most dead. And then you just Facetime me. I just got off a flight, and then I see a a, a Facetime from a random iCloud email, mm -hmm. and Kodak's like playing video games. Like I think you were playing. Were you gaming? Yeah. The phone was like down here, and you just like lean over. You're like, "What's up?" Yeah, most <laughs> dead. But yeah. So I hope we can I love it. Well, I got, I, I got, well. I got to say this though. What I, what I respect is that when we came in this house, obviously this is your mother's house. Yeah. The amount of respect that they showed us for us to be able to come in here, mm. we really appreciate that. Shots, oh, pickled good. eggs, and, yeah. show, so and like I said, like a lot of starburst. People, yeah, a lot of people. I love hot shoes. My bad. No, go ahead. Yeah. I was saying a lot of people obviously come in probably and pitch you shit and do shit. Just want to let you know you've been really respectful and your whole crew has been really respectful to us. We appreciate that. Most uh, salute. So, yeah. Lance told us to just stay here for the week, if that's cool. With you. <laughs> for sure, why not? I like yeah, these, we've been shit. posted on these couches for three <laughs> hours, so oh, I might just crash here. Yeah, yeah. This is it. All right. So how's how's life going right now for Kodak Black? It's great, great, you know. It's good. I love that. I love that. I love that. Well, he's got a new album out now. That's what I see about all the time now, is all the new album. Everybody's talking about it. The album's yeah. slapping, all the singles are cooking. Yeah, yeah. Number one, yeah, well. Uh, Jones. What Double. do we got? We got stats there. Super Gremlins at 110 million plus. Platinum already? Yeah, Super Gremlin Platinum. What does Platinum mean, by the way? I don't know this stuff. I'm, I'm learning. I'm new to the music. What does Platinum mean? Like, you're the best of the best? A certain amount of views, right? A million Yeah, like, right over, right over gold. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. It is the best until a diamond come about. We have, I got songs that's Platinum. I got songs that's like two, two time Platinum, three time, four time, five time, six time Platinum. And I got a diamond plat too, though. Word. You can't go past diamond. That's as good as it gets. Yeah. I got, I got a diamond plat. What's, what? di what's diamond for? Like, what song? Uh, shit. Bow that yellow. Shit. Mm -hmm. Was that your most? Is that what that photo is over there? Oh, uh, nah. Bow that yellow. That's the Carter B song. What was, your, what was your favorite song that you ever created? Was it Bow that yellow? Nah. Shit, um, off my album, Hitting Houses, like, Hitting Houses, like, becoming, like, my new favorite. Just that vibe. Mm, uh, 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 uh. I be Hitting Houses. That little song. But I used to always, like, acting weird. Mm -hmm. Acting weird. Like, that'd be a song. Like, when I was in prison, I was saying that every day. Acting weird. Mm -hmm. You have a song with Ed Sheeran? Yeah. 
Yo, he just bought. Did you buy him a chain or he bought you a chain? Nah, that was his chain. He gave it to you? Yeah, you know, he 1800 block. You from the 1800 block. Well, how was that? Um, see, you know, Ed Sheeran, a project baby, man. He's a legend, though. Yeah, he's a sniper. Um, yeah, what's it like working with Ed Sheeran? Like, that guy's like a musical genius, right? Yeah, for sure. Did yeah, you like boy. work with him in the studio or was it just like. Yeah, most stuff. I like him because it's like. He came to my world, like, I ain't have to go all super pop with it. You know what I'm saying? He came to my world. But at first, I was playing them songs that's like, that I felt like was pop and all that stuff, like love songs and all that. And then you're like, nah, who won't like go to that? You went to Usain Booth, like, he just opened it up and did his own stuff to it, did his own thing to it. If he hit you and was like, yo, I want you to come into my world, would you do it? Yeah, why not? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Who just did that? Lil Durk and Morgan Wallen did that, right? Yeah. Morgan Wallen and Lil Durk did something? Yeah, most stuff. Went crazy. It went I crazy. got a song with a boy, Austin Mahone and stuff. Who's he? What kind, what kind of music does he do? He pop. He pop. A new song with him or old? Yeah, like a new song with him that ain't came out. I was song with Austin, uh, Austin Mahone. I think Charlie, with Charlie Poof, too. I know he just tweeted that he want to do something, but I think we already got one together. Um, Adam Levine, he ain't never put that song out right yet. Post Malone, he ain't never put that song out right yet. Um, me and Bad Bunny got something together too. You think you think the reason why some of them haven't put the songs out yet is it, is it is it because of anything that you're doing with and dealing with in the public eye? Because you got a lot of shit right now, right? Like with like dumbass, stupid headlines. It must be exhausting to be you. Like I can't imagine how it's you every fucking minute. Everything is Kodak Black. This Kodak Black. That. They go dumb. If I be like, man, it's, it's got to be exhausting, brother. Yeah. If I be like, man, I like to clip my big toenail and put it sitting right by side of the bed. Right. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Why might you like to leave his toenails by the bed? Well, da, da, da. well that's just because you get clicks, right? <laughs> well, do you do that or not? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's into that weird shit. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, um, like at the end of the week, like the, like the weekend, like Friday night, I'll leave my big toenail by the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so on, on Back for Everything, right? When you hear Super Gremlin and you're, you're listening to it in the studio, do you know right away that thing's going to bang the way it did? Because it was the most viral song. Like yeah, we even looked at the 49ers walking out to it every game. You remember that? For sure. But you know that, or it was just like... I just ain't know it feel like I'd to be like that one or killing the rats. But I knew I was going to catch fire. What makes you want to work with an artist? Like, what makes you say, like, hey, I want to work with this guy? Is it all just about what the numbers he's going to get? Is there ever guys that you see that you give a bit more of a chance to that are smaller because they just have a good vibe? Or what makes you want to work with somebody? Yeah, just, just how I feel, for real. Like, you know... I ain't even really a feature guy like yo crazy. Like, I want to work with everybody, but you know, just how I feel, I guess. Or right. ain't really no science to it. And do you do you write all your own shit? Yeah, yeah. I have notepads for the shit in here. Yeah. There you, go. you didn't convert it over the laptop or anything. I'm in, I'm in notepad. Yeah, it depends on how I'm feeling, like how my vibe feeling, like if I want to be on my phone, if I want to be on the iPad. But I ain't got no phone right now. But it's like, you know, if I want to write on the phone, or if if I, if I want to write on the iPad, mm -hmm. or, I'm on, or if I want to, I feel like, like, I'm for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Or do the punch hand thing. And you had uh, you had a lot of time, obviously, prison and whatnot. You're open about that when you talk about it. Did you spend a lot of time? What was it, what was it like there? Was it 23 hours just locked up solo? And were you writing a lot yeah, of lyrics well, while you yeah, were? Yeah, I, I had went to the box because, you know, fights and shit, mm -hmm. like prison guards and shit. But it went just like 23, 23 or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Like every, every time, like, I used to go to jail or whatever, prison, like, I ain't a PC dude or none of that shit. You know, they ask you, like, oh, yeah, do you want to go to PC or whatever? They gonna ask you that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no PC nigga right. or whatever like that type of shit. But are you like, doing what? more in the creative process, Kodak? Are you doing more, like, you have all you have is time, right? So when we have time... Our creative juices start flowing. Yeah, were facts. You, were you writing a lot of shit while you were in prison? Yeah, yo. I still got shit that I ain't like putting out yet. Stuff. Well, any songs that you wrote there that came out? Oh, yeah. A few songs that I wrote in the, on the album. How much, how much time did you do? 20 months. 20 months. How long were you in the box for? That's fucked. 
thousand bucks a few months, bro. And I like half of my bid for real. Like straight in a row or separate times? Straight in a row, man. Half of my bid. So that what what is that? That's like solitary. Yeah. So what like what is it? It's just like a room, no window. Yeah, nah, no window, none. <laughs> That's that, fucked. That, that's something that's probably got to be the craziest shit that none of us. How crazy would that you go if you were there? Like, I would lose my fucking that. mind, bro. That's just like such mind. a mental test. It seems like to yeah, me. Yeah, you're fucked in there, bro. Oh yeah, most dev. They let you smoke in there? Or no, not? like no timeout, no like yard. Shit, yeah, shit. niggas smoking in that bitch niggas. in the box. It is what it is. But the good thing is this: that like it's all about just the bounce back, right? It's like it happened. It's in the past. It's never happened again. And it's like, right, it's all about just how we move forward in life, yeah, that which is the most bad. important thing. Everybody's going to make mistakes, right? And whether yeah. it be, I don't even know that. To be honest with you, Kodak, I don't even know the exact details of everything that would happen. I didn't do my research that hard. I fuck with your music. I don't know you on that level, but I just want to say that like, we're all wishing the best going forward because you're a good man. You're a very talented fucking musician. You're something that motivates us when we listen to you. Yeah. So just want to let you know That's that. going to make you motivated after spending days in the box. You're like, oh, I'm not going back there. Yeah, hey, yo. Thanks, <laughs> man. Who that? Bob's Postmates. Post, hey, I got Postmates here if you don't mind. No, you can. I ordered some shit. Talk about it. I don't know if you're down or not. It cut out of all my time and shit like that. This, this, this time, it was like being the hardest. So it was like, man, you know, hell, yeah, that shit motivation and make you feel like, man, you know, hell, I ain't coming back to this shit. You hear me? Right, so it was like more of a, oh, I ain't in here to be. They be playing, I'm in mean, here like, oh, yeah, I'm in prison, I'm big. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, man, shit, you know. Shit, shit turned a whole another way. I said I had to go through it. I right could. Yeah. After after Super Gremlin, this album, are people hitting you up for features and stuff? Cause you're like hot right now. Well, yeah. What do you? Can you tell us like what you charge or who's hitting you up and how you pick who to do a song with? Yeah, I be charged like a hundred, one fifty. One fifty for a feature. Yo. I could come up with that if you want to do a track with me or no. <laughs> so, yo, Kodak, how does that work with features? Like, so 150K is your rate, but do you ever do like a feature for free for somebody? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do that. Like, will rappers trade like someone you have a relationship? Like, you'll do a feature for free, or is it 150? Like, no matter what. Yeah, I do. I do that. I do that. Does the I label like... have any say in that? Nah. Mm. Like, you can tell the label, like, nah, like it's this person. I'm doing the feature nah, for they ain't free. got no say. They have no say? Uh-uh. I was wondering how that what, what about with Conscience with Future? That's one of my favorites. Did you, Was that just a collab? Like, you should do a whole album with him, bro. We need with that. Future and, huh? With Future? Yeah. yeah Would you I've do been it? Ha- I've been having uh, uh, like, like talks with a few people right now. My, my doing a whole project with them. Bro, you a have few to. people have been talking to me about doing a whole project with me. And oh, stuff like that. But yeah, I'm in the Future so now. Is that like a mutual thing where you're like, yo, Sean we're, Haney we're just boys, getting we'll fired just up it? just thinking about it. Huh? It's a banger, bro. Conscience is my favorite song ever. Yeah, for sure. Aaron's we got a bell of time. He listens to your shit so, so much, it's crazy. My my mom Every my mom lives in Pompano too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not annoying. Yeah, I was talking to Lance and your mom Congrats, about it. Bro. I love that area. So but I've been banging you for a while, but sounds... Conscience for some reason just like hits different for us. We still bang it all the time. What's that? What does the word bang? Did you kiss mean, your first that? check to conscience or some shit? Uh, what does not bang my first. Mean, though? Do you know what bang no. it means? What does bang it mean? I don't understand your language. What do you mean you bang like, it? Bang the music, Bob. Oh, bang it. Like, listen to it. Yeah, yeah. don't 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 worry about this guy over here, bro. He's <laughs> on another planet. Oh, was, so you got that Pompano, huh? Yeah. But I love Pompano, bro. I go up there a lot to visit my mom, and it's just like, it's a calm, cool area. But it's like a small part of the, part of Florida, you know? Like, between Fort Lauderdale and Boca. But it's dope. You yeah, go back there? It. Fuck yeah. Where do you stay at? Well, when I go to Pompano? Yeah, but do you, you guys still live there or no? Uh-uh. All over? Nah, what shit. I got a little place I go to. Nice. I got a little place down there. He asks a lot of questions. You know, Aaron, he asks a lot of questions, you know I mean? You're asking a lot of fucking questions. Well, bro, we're bonding over where we're from, Bob. You got a very important guy traveling around. You think he wants to give you his fucking locations? Where are you posted up mostly? Florida? <laughs> it's like, this is it for me, you uh... Hey, like by, the, by the way, real quick, was that thing that I watched when I turned on Sports Center or whatever it was? You were back. Is your, am I allowed to speak like openly? Yeah. Like with that video, because <laughs> your mother's here. Your mother's here. I want to be respectful. But like, were you banging a girl in the suite? Like, I turned on the TV and I saw you like banging some girl or something. Was that just the headlines? A little sweet. Nah, we were zooling, man. We were just vibing and shit, hanging out. No, I didn't know. I was like, Kodak, like, bang some girl. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, 
This is this motherfucker is ballsy as shit. Yeah. Wait, what, how, how did you see it? Was that on TV or some shit or no? No, I think my twelve year old nephew called me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what he's worried yeah. about? He's wondering ballsy if it's if it was his chick or not. Was it his girl? That would would want to come by. You <laughs> fucked my girl. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's bad, so she, you would you might want to do it. But no, but what were you just was it just you like was it you just dancing with some girl or yeah? If we're doing a come by, come by in the Haitian dance. It was a smart move. We're by the way. Smart, smart. <laughs> That's your mother, right? Yeah. I apologize. That's why I asked. <laughs> he was I You're respectful, Bob. I am very respectful. It's pretty fucked up. Dude. I think yeah. I have been. They serve us pickled eggs and shit. It was a very amazing situation. How did, I don't know how much you could talk about it, but to me, that is like the biggest flex to get pardoned by the president. Like, how did that come about? Like, did you guys have a prior relationship? Like that's insane yeah, to me. You no, know, no, making sure like I, I we getting up out of there safe, you know. And call me the eagle, like the eagle has landed, man. The package, and call me the eagle or the package. You, yeah. like the eagle has landed, man. Safe. Was that something though that like did you get word while you were there and saying hey Trump wants to pardon you? Or was that like, how did that process work? Is that, yeah, because you were it. you were like you were rocking the hat and shit, the mega hat I saw in. Is that because, like, you were just publicly showing support that he's like, I'm going to help this guy out? I show support. Like, I'm forever, like, embedded to that boy. He snapped. Yeah. <clears throat> but Trump knows, like, the, he he did that for the people. The people need their music. We need Kodak's music. Man, right? like, like, getting rid of Trump is the worst thing America could have did. You hear me? Friend? Yeah. Yeah, that's my SG ashtray. There you go. What's that? See it's it. an ashtray, Bob. I see that SG on it. Platinum. I'm asking what SG means. SG. Sniper gang. Sniper gang. Snatch and grab. Sneaking geek. Uh, scratch no, gang. No sniper gang until now. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, it, 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 it got all kind of um, acronyms. All kind of. It mean all kind of stuff. What does sniper gang mean, though? It's just sniper gang. You know, we I think, I think it's, think it's pretty obvious. Yeah. We aim at what we want. We bang at what we see. You know what I mean? How do you how do you, how does one get into sniper gang? The sniper is the most important dude on the battlefield. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, Lance invited me into the sniper gang. Is that cool with you or no? Yeah, Aaron, you're sure. never gonna be in the sniper gang. I'm in the sniper gang. Yeah. Lance <laughs> said I was an honorary member of the sniper gang. Steiny wakes up in the, the mirror. The sniper is the most important person on the, the, the battlefield. Yeah. It, it, it is. It is. Yeah. I know a couple of guys. Actually, O'Neal O'Neal was a sniper. We had that guy that killed Bin Laden. I think he was a sniper for a while as well. Where he at? Robert O'Neal? The man who killed Bin Laden right now, he's on tour in Texas. So he's doing a tour with Dakota Meyer, who is the Medal of Honor recipient. And I so, need him to be my security. He, yeah, I mean, I think he's retired. He's got his job done. He killed Bin Laden. He's out. He's checked out. But those are the guys, I mean, the best of what they do, the Navy SEALs and whatnot. You got you to gotta have respect for those guys, right? I mean, imagine that, getting in a helicopter, knowing you're invading Pakistan and going to kill the most wanted man on planet Earth. So when Trump, when Trump pardoned, I want to know, this is the most interesting thing, but when he pardoned you, did, like, how'd you find out? Like, what, what was the moment when you found out? So I knew it was going down, you heard me? Then it was like, you know, I was keeping that to myself because it was like, you know, I was in the pen, like, I, I, like a lot of people died around me in the pen and stuff like that. Like, for sure, for sure. So it's like, man, I ain't finna let people know that, like. Yeah, much. you don't want to brag about that, obviously. Yeah, yeah, niggas fuck around, kill me and him. <laughs> I'm saying facts, as you know. Like, you I knew how to make a knife, I'm saying, like, first out the gate. When I got the uh, big Sandy, Kentucky, I had paid a dude to make me a knife. And then when I when I, when I paid him to make me a knife, of course, like, it was like, I don't watch him. So it was like showing me how to make one. And making one for me at the same time. Did you get anyway, to like, that ain't the question, but you're like I, I know how to make some shit where I could get through transit, where I could go to a where I could go to a different prison with one and you won't even catch a finding on me and stuff. What like, happens uh, if they catch and find you though? It's just added time, isn't it? So there was risk behind it, right? Yeah, but in appearance it's like they know it's like you kinda like need a knife. Yeah. So it's like they won't even like give you an extra charge or None of that shit. I probably just seen to the boss. Probably might take away a little game time. Right. But it's like so much people. It's like the worst of the worst people. And I was at the worst's pen. 
And if dude, like, see, people don't even be saying that when I be talking about this. Because they know, like, big sin, and I was a verse. That's the worst federal penitentiary you could be in in the BLP. So it was like, man, shit, you need a knife. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nigga, they got, they got plastic knives. They got metal and long knives. All kind of shit. But the plastic it's, knives going to do damage. The little plastic ones it's going to do damage. Man. That's obviously yeah. a place, though, that you don't ever want to go back to, right? Fuck no. Prison's tough. Hey, hey. What's your relationship, by the way? Your mother is one of the sweetest ladies in the world. Yeah. What's your relationship like your mother? What is what has your mother taught you along the way? She, she that baby, you hear me? So like That's that queen, like ain't nothing like it. She's a very sweet lady. What's that? Was that mom? It felt bad we invaded her house. We're like on the front lawn taking pictures and have cameras in here. I'm bro, I'm moving. I'm I'm crashing here. Aaron's bro. bringing gold chains in there. Let's get gaming oh, setups, bro. He vibe gang. <laughs> Fompano gang, bros. Yeah, oh, that's right. Moving that in game? there. Yeah. Almost there. What, what are you playing now? I'm that boy. I play 2K, FIFA, Madden. Okay, I got you in 2K. Okay, I'll have you in Madden. You might have me in FIFA, but... I'm that boy I'll take you 2K for like 10 bands if you're down. Or I'm that boy in FIFA. Oh, oh, I'm bet? not that good you at FIFA you anymore. 10 bands? Huh? 10 bands? Yeah, so don't, let him, don't let him bail out of this. Finish this fucking Fuck take. Okay, we can do 10 bands. We can do 10 bands in a game of 2K. This shit, all right. We can play for a chain or something. Nah, 10 bands. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, shit just got real. Oh, well, I guess I'm in here. So text bands it is. <laughs> I want to do what? Five bands? Let's do five. All right. Five K. You texting quick. Steve to spot you or what? No, I can do five K. It's fine. Five K. Play Lance for double or nothing. Leave here with ten. That's it. <laughs> but you can't pick. You can't pick the Lakers though. No, we do random teams. <laughs> <laughs> we can pick. No. We can play, no, we can play anybody. anybody Why? Who do you have a team you play with, or we do random teams? I play with the Grizzlies, John Morant. Oh, oh my uh, God, we gotta do randoms. Oh, I play with the Suns. Is that Xbox? PS Five. Okay, it's fine. Five bands. Why don't you just do what we always do? Is like three randoms. So you pick the first two, you get two randoms. No, and, th- and if you're not the first two randoms, that's how we the, have to do it, though. How's it fair? Third. Otherwise. You're good as fuck with Memphis, obviously. What if he says take Memphis out of the play? You can't be Lakers. You can't. Dude, be you're Memphis. not negotiating this. I oh, have fine. the money go ahead. here. Go ahead, Aaron. It's all you. <laughs> Shut up. How'd it go? We'll do. We'll do three randoms and we'll play a game of two. All right, I won't. Be, I won't be Memphis then. I'm gonna pick the Suns. All right, be the Suns. Be any other team but Lakers. Okay. What about Brooklyn? All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go. And so we have it here. The match is set up. Stani versus. Uh, Kodak Black. Indeed. Five thousand. <laughs> Guess what? You don't pay the fucking money, you don't leave this house. Oh yeah, I know. You understand? That. <laughs> That's how it works. Let's do it. Let's run it. Or they feed you the crocodiles. You know what I'm into? I'm into crocodiles. Mm, you ever say you into one? Yeah, like I, I don't know why. I go on YouTube <laughs> and I watch crocodiles for like four hours straight. And like just eating things in the wild. Do you ever do you ever see any crocodiles out here? Alligators. Dub, gators. We got the gators oh, down here and stuff like that. That why that why Florida people so crazy because we breathe we breathe the same oxygen with the, with the gators, we breathe the same oxygen. <laughs> Florida people fucked up your. You don't want to smoke. You don't want to, you want to smoke weed. I'm not actually no. We can't smoke any more weed. I get too high from from Aaron mm-hmm. before. Why are you? My, my only let me smoke yaks and on the yakky mouths and. I mean, I mean, yeah, no, yeah, later. Yakky mouths. So what's next for you? What are you working on right now? What's next? Shit on. Um, I done, wrote, I done wrote a few skits, I mean, scripts, I mean, like script writing, like movies and stuff. I'm bringing back City of War back out. You know, City of War was kind of like a power and all of that. So a lot of people be like, oh, what's, what's City of War at? Bring, them, bring that back out, like a little show series, like short little movies, um, businesses, business ventures. I got a little, I got a shop. Down in Wynwood. I mean, I like my love apparel, sniper gang apparel, and CBD, you know. Um, you know uh, I'm getting a truck business and, and tow truck business. Tow truck business? Yeah, tow truck business. Like sniper and, gang trucking? And 18 wheelers. <laughs> that, would, that would be sniper game trucking. Go ahead, would be amazing. And 18 wheelers, you know what I'm saying? Like my bitch, I, I, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to part. I want to park 18, 18 wheelers on 1800 block. That way we from 1800 block. So I'm going to have 18, 18 wheelers on 1800 block. So what's year. like the business model for the trucking business? Like what? Like delivering, like you used to have your own trucks, like delivering shit? Yeah, delivering shit, you know, you know, short stopping all the, other, all the other trucks that deliver for like Amazon, Publix, and all the other little wholesale places and all the stuff. 
You guys talk sniper gang trucking, bro. I love sniper gang trucking. What about like a what's like? Is there like a passion project that you want to do, like music wise, like go out of your lane maybe or something you haven't touched yet? I mean, yeah, most dev. I got, I got, I got a few songs with people right now. Me and Jason Derulo, we dropping our song this month, uh, <clears throat> this month March. Uh, you know, a few people been talking to me about going on tour with them, like a few elite people, like big artists. Can't drop the names. I don't really, I don't really want to disclose that. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, that because that's they stuff. I don't really want to. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here uh, comes Gabe with his one big podcast. Do you, do you like going on tour or not? Gabe comes in. Tours, tours, great. But it's like you know, we're at a tour. Like you don't make as much money as you do when you do like your one-off shows, like festivals and all that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like I charge three hundred k for a show. Sure. But but like for a tour, they'll be like um a hundred each show date. So it's like man, missing out on my real right? bad. But it's like you gotta have a tour history. I'm saying you just gotta have that tour history because there's a lot of artists who be like, who like, who be feeling how I feel and stuff like that. Nah, I'd rather make the money, run up their own bag, but they don't have no tour history and that messed, and that messed them up in the long run. Mm-hmm. Like, like, for longevity. Yeah. You know, I'm so, always thinking long term. So, what what's like 300 for a show? Is that like a, that's like for like festivals or like a one off show? Regardless. But but on a tour it's a hundred k a pop. Like yeah, they like, like like the Live Nations and the AGs oh, and yeah. all that. I'm saying you could probably get them up to go more. That's what I'm on right now. Like man, y'all gotta y'all gotta go more. But, How does that work? Like, what's the business behind like the touring shit? Like Live Nation pays. Do they pay you like the fee, and then they just like sell all the tickets, right? Or how does that work? Yeah, most dub. But they they have little situations like with certain artists is like, you know what? We are gonna give you like. 10, we're gonna give you like 10 million right now. Man, we're gonna call you when you when we ready for you to go to go on tour, like, but you can't do no shows, you can't be like, like, um, they're gonna set up like a little radius for you and stuff like that. But they're gonna call you when you're ready. It might not even be this year, like, they might call you like two, three years later. I'm personally, I won't like accept nothing like that though. Oh, that's interesting. So they'll come with a fat bag and be like, we're yeah. going to give it to you now, but you can't tour for time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're going to call you when you Have, they, when have you ever like done like a model like that? Mm-mm. Why not? Well, because then they Cause, can hold like, you for so long. They're all your motion. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the money is great, but it's like, it be, sometimes we bigger than, deeper than the money. It's like you're tied up. That's kind of fucking whack. Most it's dev. Like, you lose your, lose your freedom at that point. Right? Have you ever... De- I hear a lot of people like... Kanye or like fucking like Uzi or someone like people complaining about like labels or the music industry is that ever something that like you've had issues with like labels and shit like that or the the business side of music like stopping you from like create creative shit yeah but nah. you've had smooth they fuck with me like my record label like they love me they love me for real you never complain then they eat like it's like even if it was a situation what that I went that I don't agree that I don't agree on with them, I won't complain about it on the internet. I just take my lit and accept that I'm being pimped. You know what I mean? It's like and just find a way to work work around it. Like, you know what it is what it is. Like you wouldn't be where you at now without them. So like you gotta take your lit. Like, man, you know what? Shit, this is what it is until I fulfill my contract on my terms. Like, you know, like because, you know, without them, you wouldn't be who you is. So it's like, that's what they, sometimes, like, um, whatever these people's situation may be, that's probably, that's just, that, that that's that's what it is. So, you know, they just getting all, they bought out the duck right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you know, milking that shit. Man, sometimes they probably might milk it for too long. I was saying, people probably might get tired of it. But, you know, shit, that fulfill your shit. You signed for it. You signed up for that. So, like, you know, just peacefully break, 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 break your way around it. I'm saying, cause shit, you ain't doing nothing but make it worse on yourself. Probably. What advice you give to young rappers that want to come up in today's world and try and make it? What advice you give to them? Shit, that you know what I'm saying. What I just said, you know, make sure the contract right before you sign it. Yeah, and um, you know, the whole independent stuff like that. That's great, but you kind of like need a major because it's like they, they machine different, and it's just like with, what I was saying about the toe stuff, like. Um, with the uh, you know, like um, how you get more money with the one-off shows and the tour. 
like sometimes like I like see, see me I throw my own shows sometimes but like you can't really set up no tour and try to route it on your own and be like you know what I'm just get my 300 or more by myself and try to um, book all the arenas all the venues by myself get all the money back cause like Live Nation and AEG they like they smart so what they did they fucked around and they bought all the venues so it was like you got what made they made it to where you gotta go through them but like that um you know, stay consistent and, uh, you know, stay, stay consistent. Don't never get, like, content and complacent, like, with, like, like, like with your shit. Or if you get a little purse of success, don't really let it get to your head. You know, keep grinding. You never see, really dwell I feel like it's so saturated now, like, with new people coming up. Like, how do you even, like, pop off now? Like, I feel like so many people just pop off for a sec and then, like, fizzle out but that didn't happen to you like i knew a lot of people that even popped off around your time like in your freshman or whatever class and shit like i've are a lot lower i feel like it's so much Tell harder you, now I feel like my my freshman class probably doing better than any other class i don't know i ain't keeping up with but i feel like who my was in it class, I, want, I want a reminder cool can you search it, it up was, me. was it 21 yeah it was me, Yachty? 21 savage little yanni little uzi Vert. holy shit yeah, that was a good group yeah, okay, never mind. Really good group. They all they're all around. Yeah. Then say uh Curry. Yeah, okay, that was probably the best one. Yeah. See uh innocent Pat. Uh, outside of yourself, who do you think your favorite guy what is? What is it? Gierbo? That was Gierbo with us. How that many years ago was that? Holy fuck. Wait, go up. That was G Easy. No, that's Lil Dicky. D- yeah, G Erbo. Twenty one, right Anderson Pack, Kodak, Uzi, Dave Dicky, Dave East, Denzel good Curry, friend. Design. Designer fell the fuck off. Yeah, fell off. Panda <laughs> slap. We like all we all on. love Panda. We had some good times, right? But no, he had one. Panda he had sl- one banger. I mean, he left his mark with Panda. No, he had a couple actually. Designer. How far Panda went? That went it viral. Went huge. You know what I'm saying like as in platinum and all that. Search it up. It, it must have, have went done. fucking. Yeah, that went crazy, crazy. Diamond times ten. It had to have. That was a, that was the biggest of his time. I hope I had a diamond. Kodak, do you have a favorite guy outside of your outside Yo, of yourself the in the game or what? real quick. I know Roger Rich went cool. diamond on the box. Panda oh, had shit. to go diamond, yeah. The box went crazy, yeah. The box went crazy, but outside of yourself, who's your favorite guy in the game? Man, I I, I salute Lil Baby. I respect dudes so much. You know what I'm saying? Lil Baby? Yeah, Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Yeah, Lil Baby. Because it's like, his whole everything. Like, I remember when he came out with it. That's my dog, show. That's yeah, my but- dog. <clears throat> I was fucking with the song. You sent it to me. I remixed it. And you was saying, like, how you know, uh, man, he was in prison before he came home and pop. He was like, uh, my song used to do it for him. Like, my music used to do it for him and stuff. That's what and Baby said? Got, that's what the Baby was saying. Then it got to a point, you know what I'm saying, me big and me steady, like, going in or whatever. His song started doing that for me. But, 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 anyway, like, you know, like, I've been out a little longer than him. My, I was just letting all kind of like little bullshit get in my way. You know what I'm saying? Me being distracted by all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Even like when I ain't, when I went going to jail, just like off of a certain little bullshit in the streets, I let it distract me. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. I kept grinding and stuff like that, putting out moves. I got a whole lot of music, like my catalog. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like, uh, you know, just like bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I ain't gonna lie, see me, I, like, I do, a, a nigga gotta respect my shit too, cause I overcame all kind of shit, even when people used to try to count me out, or try to cancel a nigga, all that little bullshit, you know what I'm saying? I overcome it, come up under them bitches, you know what I'm saying? But you see, like, with the baby, you can see, like, he unproblematic, you know what I'm saying? Drama free, like, jit, like, and he, 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 he a young nigga, he a little older than me, but he still, like, you know what I'm saying? Still, like, a young nigga and shit like that. And I, I, just, I just respect his whole grind and shit. I, I, I respect his yeah, whole shit. Yeah, he's popping off to like another level now. Yeah. Yeah, Jit, like, Jit, like, we stand out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? They just started, like, producing it. They, they dropping that music. Shit like that. You ain't gonna catch them arguing with nobody. Yeah. And that shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit. He, then he was telling me, like, he was telling me, like, like last year before, bitch was undecided and they ain't know they wanted to get behind me or not. I was like, I had to grind, I had to catch fire again. You hear me? Like, with Super Grim and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, baby, was telling me, like, you know, like, he wanted to see me back on top. Like, man, I just wanted to see you back on top again. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, this shit really yours. Like, show these people you can't be fucked with with this music shit. Like, he like, man, you that boy for real, for real. And shit, like, show everybody you got sense for real and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit like that. Every time I drop, he was like, bitch, I'm proud of you. Like, yeah, keep going just like that. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I fuck with the baby. I respect that way. You think it's smarter, like, how he's doing it? He has no drama with anybody. Yeah. But is that a respect thing, or you think he's just smart, and he's like, I don't want to beef with anybody? Re- respect, and he's smart. Like, he putting the bag first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm like, shit, yeah, yo. I almost tell And he in all kind of little other shit, but he got his hands tied in and shit like that. Or the avenues. Sometimes just, doesn't that help the music though, the, the business and stuff, co- creating co- chaos and drama. So like sometimes if you create viral moments, you create crazy shit. Sometimes doesn't help with the business. I think though, if yeah, yeah, maybe don't help with the business. And then it'd be like, shit, how long does it last? You know. Yeah. But then there's different strokes for different folks. You hear me? Like, well, what worked for some people might not work for the other, like the rest. I think if you, can, I think drama with celebrities is a lot different than like. I can't speak on it, but like it seems like hood drama is a lot different than fucking like a beef with a celebrity, though. Yeah, like, that's more like clickbait yeah. shit than like I'm assuming like hood shit. But I think if you're like as talented as a little baby, you don't even need to beef with like people beef with people sometimes. I think to stay in the in the spotlight. You think so, you think so or no, Kodak? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for sure. I shit, you know that shit. Like how long let that shit last? You know, like you don't need to make a diss track. Who, if you're who hot. really calls out little baby though? And it'd be like, what you want to be remembered for? That's really what nigga on not moving for. Like, what a nigga want to do. What do you, what do you like, want to, what do you want to be remembered for? Shit, a billionaire, a crazy dude turned billionaire. Crazy dude woke up billionaire. You want to be a billionaire? Yeah, yeah. What's your path? What venture do you think like would get you to be a billionaire? I'm just a billionaire. Wake up a billionaire. Like, billionaire. I'm just gonna wake up. Just a fucking being out. Know, I ain't even gonna know where it came at. Just gonna be oh shit, I'm being there. That's lit. That's what I want too, right? Bob, you want that? Just I mean, I don't give a fuck. Now, like for show? me, for me, Kodak, it's not about the money or anything for me. It's about the game. I like the game. Then we'll do regardless. Oh, like, fuck. I, 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 here we go. You, Let's like, read my text conversation with well, fucking Bob. Listen, it's negotiations. about the game. He's for renegotiating his contract, so he's, not he's a capper over there. Two fucks. Don't listen to these fucks. They don't even need a billion dollars, but you know. I guess it's a race, like all the like, musicians, celebrities, and gen- like it's so people rigged. in general. It's all the race, like who gonna get the most money out of this life? It's so dumb. Who gonna who gonna understand? Who gonna fall out first? Who gonna all that shit? It's okay. too much thinking. Sometimes just peace of mind is, yeah, is the most important thing, and that's gonna be hard to get. Yeah, yeah, just really about being happy for real. Think about the most money in the world. I don't mean I don't make you happy. Absolutely not. What do you think Kodak like makes like a rapper like someone like you like that pops off and's like successful? What makes them want to like go back to like the hood or like get in trouble in like those types of scenarios? Like what? I mean, I used to tell I used to I remember I remember, my, I remember telling my little guy sister this shit back then and shit like not, like nobody that waking up on no shit like oh I'm finna get in trouble today or, like. I'm gonna go to jail today. Is that because just like, like all your boys are there? Like, huh? Is that just because like all your like day one boys are in no, like real but homies it's like, are there? You no, know, it's people, places, and things. It is like the people who you surround yourself with or by. It is the places you go to and the things you do. You know what I'm saying? It's always people, places, and things for sure. You know what I'm saying? You know, people be like get to by association and you know what I'm saying? But innocent by circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And then it'll be like, Niggas go back to the hood because, like, that's all they knew. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you going to tell me I can't go back to the hood? I've been there the majority of my life. You know what I'm saying? So, like, niggas still transitioning, like, to, to do that. But, you know, a lot of people be like, shit, hell, no, nah, give me all that money. I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? But it be like, man, you know, nigga do all the awards. Nigga do all the music videos. Do all the shows they want. Ain't nothing like home, you know what I'm saying? Your heart gonna be like, man, I ain't going back because I want to get in trouble. I'm just going back because I want to vibe and I miss and my like people. Like, there's a lot of people you know there, you know what I'm right? saying? Yeah, yeah, it's like my family here, all kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing with But you. that sometimes just leads to trouble? Yeah. But it's like, it's two different lives, right? Yeah. You get all this success and fame and you want to go back to normality for a little bit, right? 100%. Like, hey, it's so crazy. Yeah. 100%. I agree to that 100%. Yeah. Not on your level, but even still. No, but same thing with everybody, right? Mm-hmm. You got to go back to where it all started before. For sure. You feel normal again. That's why that. That's why it's but always sometimes important. the shit in the past is like, you like keep holding on to it, but you're like, 
it's sometimes not what's best for you and shit, right? Yeah. It's fucked. You know what's important though is having like, I have my girl by my side that always takes care of me. My chick knows, I'm serious, I always go back to her. She always like, I'm in bed 10 o'clock at night. I'm not going out partying until four in the morning because I got my girl. And you gotta, I mean, like if you have yeah. sometimes a right hand girl in your life, it's important to you. Are you getting deep with girl talk right now? No, I'm just trying. I'm speaking whatever the we fuck could, I want to speak. We should get about. some dog talk out of Kodak, though. <laughs> you, yeah, I thought you had a kid on the way, right? Yeah, you had a baby, yeah. How, how, when when she uh, do? July. Are you excited oh, for shit. that? So, it's your second kid, yeah. All right, let's go. That's you have crazy. any advice for Bob? He thinks he's gonna have a kid soon. Hey, yeah. No, I'm just thinking like you know things are getting more serious. Starting to like the chick a little bit more. So if you have yeah. any relationship advice for me right now. Six months I've been I with her. What do you, you think? You busting the meat to meat, you know. It's expected. You know I, mean? I don't know what that means. So say that again. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I didn't get it. I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just being honest with you. I don't know what it means. Meat to meat, you know, like yo meat to her meat. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> right. meat to meat. You know what I mean? like, meat to meat. Got yeah, it. if you run that like shit, fuck, you, yeah. like you run that shit. All right, yeah. No, I think basically, I think this is one of the girl I love. So I think I'm gonna probably just you him. bell dicking. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> you hitting that shit, Bill? Uh, like you hitting it raw? Oh, am I hitting it raw? Uh, yeah, we're at the stage of our relationship where we're hitting it raw. Yeah. <laughs> you shit, be she on the pill? Or no, no oh, but like, wait, you know, hold on. Let's clarify. She on the pill? Uh, no, actually, she's not. No. Oh, whoa. No, we're, we're, man, we're, I done got past that shit. You know, I'm a super grim. You hear me? Mm -hmm. my, 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 what you call it? My baby who on the way, like her mama. Her mom was on the depots, you know, and that supposed to be stronger than a pill. That's like the shots was like automatically in your system and stuff. So she was so on you the depot. Bypass that shit. Yeah, she was on the depot, on the depot, on the depot, and then shit. I ended up getting past that shit. You hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, bust through that. Yeah, you yeah. gotta figure it out. Figure it out. Is that something you worry about with chicks? What them getting? Like, pregnant? do you just be nutting in random chicks? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Well, I don't know. I'm yo, trying to get advice. Like, but he's just so you know, Kodak. I want to clear something up. <laughs> He only hits his girl missionary. So there's like, it's not it's that tired. fire. You know I, I what I mean? Once like, he doesn't understand how, like, we, we beat it up. Yeah, we see you. Know, he's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't get that. <laughs> but always talk that's shit where he needs advice if you could help him with that. Yeah. Because she's not satisfied. What is, the, what, is the way to, what is the way to hit it? <laughs> yeah, <shit. laughs> you got to be a damn wrestler in that bed. I'm talking about put that in that curtain. Ain't a lot. Do all kind of shit. Yeah. Have that. Like, this is yeah, man. Shit. <laughs> I don't know if I'm capable of that. Yeah, that shit like that, dude. Okay. That, you don't have that in you. I, I, I don't, I'm just going to get right to it. I can't pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pull that shit off. That ain't me. Yeah, look. That ain't me at all. Um, Talk about later, wait, but wait. Outside, outside of music, do you have any other big hobbies? Anything else no. you love? Like the rap, keep it going. Going. Like, like the go, Florida shit. I like to go bowling. <clears throat> Bowling. What's your best score in bowling? He's a good bowler. I will guy. light you up, Kodak, in bowling. What's your best score? We got I'm a <laughs> sniper striker, man. All right. <laughs> sniper gang bowling. A lot of guys talk a lot of shit. They can't beg it up, Kodak. What's your best score? Shit, I don't keep score. I just strike. Yeah. <laughs> what do you aim for? Strike do you aim for, like, the middle pin? Or are you, like, a two-handed, like, spin down the alley I aim, I aim for the middle pin. You know, sniper game perfect. And yeah. That's it. You just roll it off your fingers and it goes straight, right? You don't do any spin. One shot, one kill. Okay. It's comforting. You just both strikes, baby. That's how we do it. What do you think of his uh, chains, real quick? We talk about chains. Do you think he can pull it off? Maybe Cubans, but. Cool. They look good, no? Yeah, I'm like this whoa, 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 whoa. He, he likes that one. You know what that means? You have to present it to him. Oh, you got some winning. Yeah. This the new set. Bust down, no, bust down Kodak, right he rented those. No. <laughs> he rents his easy, chains. Easy. He, he, he capped them with this. You, so you, you do. Fucked up. I don't give a damn what he do. Long as he got them five bands. <laughs> long as he got them five bands. What are you touching his chain it. for? Aaron, sit down for Christ's sake. I'm, I'm looking at his chain. Right, well, bro. just you know, ask him for permission it's before you jump on the You're getting a little too comfortable, bro. It's a mutual thing, bro. You know. Listen, you're already running up your hands on him for God's sake. What is your chain? If you have, Steiny, you should what, get grills. What is the meaning behind that chain? I want you, got to. you should get grills. You leave those in all the time, though? What? You do you, you, you eat with the grills and stuff or not? Nah? Ain't your mama from Papa No Man? Yeah, but. But she doesn't. Buddy, your mom is from Fort Lauderdale, Stiney. Yeah, like no, she's we from Pompano. We don't want to pull out stuff down here, man. It's Florida, your mom's from okay. Fort Lauderdale, bud. I got to get permanent ones then, though. No? Stiney's trying to act like he's from Kodak, Florida. he's bluffing all day. We dance he's South bluffing. Florida, homie. Nah, no, my mom's from Pompano, I swear. Amazing. She, she lives amazing. there right now. 
Very and cool. Go to her house after this. Love water pumping on. Uh, uh, right by the LA Fitness, we we figured it out, Lance. Pumping on beach, pumping on beach, right on the beach yeah. by LA Fitness. I meant to say because you say it's all cool and low and shit like that. They ain't pumping no water pump. Yeah, it's different. It's a different area. Is that what you saying, like, Kodak? It's like pumping no, and mm-hmm. you got pumping no beach, like yeah. You know what I'm saying well, like we're over there, like lighthouse point. So we're neighbors. We're neighbors. So you could tell, Bex Kodak, he's full of shit, right? In the sense no, I'm like from Pompano not, Beach. He's from Pompano. It's, oh. but they're neighboring places. But it's cool. That was cool. You know what I'm saying all this shit. I've heard him tell girls at the club like he's like I'm from the same like town as Kodak. Yeah, he was he was like Loki dropping. It works, bro. Why would I not say that? It does work he's for him though. As he should ain't ever. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you gotta do. I need to get your number. Can I get your number for FaceTime proof or no? <laughs> Absolutely uh, not. That's where we cut him off. <laughs> Kodak rocks the iCloud. Yeah, most I got an iPad. I ain't got no phone. Yeah. Nice. I saw uh, on the Breakfast Club thing, Drake gave you Bitcoin. What what went down with that? He just randomly sent you 250K of Bitcoin. Like, man, this is a yak pad for you. Let's see, just a, just a little yak pad. Like, it ain't nothing. You're Are you into crypto like that, though? Yes, he introduced me to it. Like that's that's a, that's like what a way to get introduced to Bitcoin and yeah. Do you hold on to it because it went up like fifteen percent? You cash this? Yeah, cash yeah, it. I held on to it. Yeah, 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 I held on to it and shit. I'm in the NFT though. Like that's what I feel like. That's what people should really like get into with me. I'm saying like Instagram stuff cool. I don't really like in the NFT world, the Discord. You know who's a genius in that shit? Ooh. This guy right here. Oh, yeah. An absolute we did Kodak. A, a we genius. did an NFT. Our shit's full send, right? So we had a full send MetaCard NFT. So it's like we got like a bunch of shit that we're doing. Like we got like merch. We have like our own alcohol. We're going to build like full send gyms like across North America. A ton of shit. Festivals. Like so much shit. We got our own website. That's like our own content. So our NFT is going to be like our key to everything that we do for like the next like five years. Fuck yeah. It's like, that's what it is. It's like a key to like get shit. But it's so new that we kind of just put it out there. And we did, I think, we did 10,000 of them at 0.75 ETH. So, so it's pretty I crazy. I made 25 million in eight minutes. Isn't that crazy, Kodak? Sure. You figured what that NFTs world out. you well, got? But that's, shit, we ain't do our drop yet, but we breaking on them. Reckon, Sniper Gang NFT. Yeah. We got a Discord, like but my Discord, Discord.gg slash Yak World. Um, it's like, you know, Yak Pass, Access Center. Uh, you know, Yak World, you feel like you in, in Maria, you know, festivals, like you say, you know, holders, uh, um, like private lounges, private, like, you know, backstage passes, like all that type of That's stuff. That's what it is. It's a modern day fan club Yeah, for, yeah. for you. So if you did a Sniper Gang NFT... You'd want to give like, yeah, like every show you do, like get your team to bring like 10 people backstage to like meet you quick and like watch the show from backstage and maybe give them like, it's like an exclusive thing into like your world. Maybe like exclusive music, exclusive merch, maybe like a Zoom with you like once a month, like, you know, Zoom, like exclusive like Q&A. All, but you you should get a team that just comes up with like, Shit, and then they put it into your schedule, and you. I feel like a sniper game. You would fucking murder. Would, you do the same so number. You could do the same thing. You Even do that. gaming with so you is an easy one. Twenty five million in eight minutes. Yeah, but they obviously are. You know, it's different for every person. I think as an we artist, we connect with your team and help you with it after. An artist, but I think that'd be dope. Yeah, an I don't think any artist, artist has really touched it too much with their no, but own. What shit. I'm saying is, I think as an artist, Snoop Dogg. Snoop oh yeah, Snoop did one. It. Yeah, he did one. Who yeah, so though? we on the um three D three D Gremlin collections. We gonna be on the Super Gremlins, uh, you know, you know, Snipe Game collections. Or uh, have you heard I, about like, the sandbox shit? Sandbox. So that that's probably be sick for you. I want I want to do a little sandbox stuff though. That'd I, be I kind of hit them up, but they ain't. It's like they can't receive messages or some shit like that. But you I know. Get me I right. know. I met the owners. We went to their house uh, for Super Bowl weekend. They had a house, and we went there because we're gonna do some shit in the sandbox. We're gonna put. These in the sandbox, like Happy Dads, our seltzer. So that, that'd be sick. You should do your own avatars or do your own trucks, sniper gang trucks. You should, you should just, that'd be you, fire. Guys should, you guys should oh, we'll, tag we'll team and do it. it. Yeah. Figure be it crazy. out. crazy. It's a crazy world nowadays, man. So much moves, so shit moves so much fast. Do you understand this metaverse stuff? Nah, but we going to uh, the Gremlin verse. <laughs> Everything's going digital though, right? Yeah, everything going digital. But yeah, the metaverse, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, you, like people, like, 
My dog, you said you just bought land, like spent three million dollars on land in the metaverse. So how did that Drake shit come about? He just hit you and he's just like, yo, I got 250k of Bitcoin for you. Yeah, you just told me, yo, make a Bitcoin wallet. So shit. You know, two Because he's been gambling like a motherfucker on on stake. That's I've seen that. Yeah, for sure. He's been fucking destroying roulette. Man, dude had motherfucking on that. Dude had uh I'm in the studio one night. He fucked around and um, he was at the club. He shut the whole club down and stuff like that. And the club went on the Instagram. It was like, what private city? party. What city was the club was closed tonight. What huh? city? Miami. Oh, Miami. And, and they called it like, oh, yeah, Drake, Drake say, um, like, you on the stuff say, tell, tell Kodak come. And tell Kodak come to the club. Drake shut the whole club down, made it a private party. I told me like then told me to come and stuff like I'm I be chilling and shit like that. So why right, we pull up to the club, Drake back there, going this session and shit like that. Dude get like he get all my homeboys and stuff like that, like like ten like ten ten thousand pieces to throw, whatever, five, ten thousand pieces to throw and shit like that. Whatever, we chilling. He on his laptop gambling on the little state shit, you know what I mean? Like, whoa, yeah, whoa. At the club? Yeah, the club. On the laptop? Yeah, the club gambling on the laptop. Yeah, for He's sure. He's getting wins and giving out the boys bands? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's crazy, Is, is Drake, bro. Drake, Drake seems like a pretty generous guy, yeah? Yeah, he's been taking dubs. I've seen his story. Are you um, be losing? How, how, no, I've seen he's just... He's probably <laughs> no, he wins. And winning. He I mean, wins. He, he you can't wins. win. You can't win in gambling. You can. You can't win, bro. If you, you don't, if you don't win, you lose more than you win. You lose way more than you Wait, win. Wait, but Kodak, you gamble besides like 2K and bowling? Nah, I, I I don't really gamble like that. I what? shoot dice for fun. What about sports? You watch sports a lot? Sometimes. You got like a favorite thing, like the Gators or the Heat or anything? Florida Gators. And of course, I bet on my home boy Lamar Jackson any day. I don't care. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys. He was supposed to come on our show last week. Yeah. I forgot you guys are going to oh, tie like that. That's lit. I had better with the Bengals, too, for Super Bowl. Shit. Lamar is pretty special, huh? Yeah, yo. How did you guys become boys? Shit, we were Dawson Elementary School. Really? No way. Yeah, yo. What? Can you tell us more about the story behind that? Shit, I'm a dog. <laughs> no, but you guys like grew up together? Or... <laughs> yeah. 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 What? What, what we the fuck? We got that no, you <laughs> know? Shit, that my dog. He's a Pompano guy. Yeah. You too. Well, yeah, you we too, got a man. gang of us. The hard Pompano, you were. Well, that's right my boys with Lamar. I'm <laughs> linking us up. Day in and day out. It was that? <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah, yellow, yeah, real, yeah, pass. We're going to drop all kind of um, NFT. What's your NFT called? Full Sun Metacard. Oh, yeah, you said that. That's where you guys got to figure something out together. You guys, yeah, you we'll help them with that. You guys, you guys do all that shit. We'll connect you with the Sandbox guys. Sandbox Because uh, Snoop's manager, that's how, that's how we met them. Snoop's manager invited us and then because they're, they're killing the Sandbox shit. So then we met them, and that shit just blew my mind. That shit's crazy. So I'm saying, like, do like they could have like two NFTs running at the same time. I think in sandbox you can because you could do like people are gonna have their own characters. It, it's like a game, I think. So a sandbox is like a game. I don't think it's the metaverse. So I think on like because you don't want to put on that shit yet, right? Like you see the videos of people with the fucking headsets on. Like that's not there yet. But sandbox, I think you're just gonna be able to like just go on your computer or your phone and like. Just move around like this. So I think a lot of people are going to use it because it's easy. So I think everyone's going to have their own character. And people are going to want like shoes. They're going to want clothes. They're going to want like a character. They're going to want like cars. They're going to want shit for their house. So it's like anything that people will buy in real life that you guys sell, you should be selling it in there too. That shit crazy. It's fucked. That's but it's so easy because instead of starting to, like how long would it take you to start sniper gang trucking in real life? You'd have to go out and buy all the trucks and like shit like that. You know what I mean? But in the sandbox, you can just design it, make it dope, and like you're pretty much ready to rock. That's what's sick, right? What was your uh, What was your biggest purchase ever? A lot of- <laughs> he, That's he likes all I to switch like, it up. I'm sorry, I like to switch it up. He didn't meet the sandbox guys. He was no, he the the guys. I was, too guys. I was drinking. Yeah, I took 1942 shots. These guys like it. Uh, no, the at sandbox the sandbox party. house, you were clipped. Well, I've had a couple shots here. Kodak's people welcomed me in. They all brought out the 1942. They were good people. What am I supposed to do? Say no to them? I fucking What are you talking about now? HFV pickle eggs. Pickle eggs are fire, these fucking bro. pickle eggs, and I'm, I'm in. I'm hooked. It's the first time I ever had one. They're great. But I'm saying, like, you see how I got my Discord, that GG slash that real. Okay, that's going. Like, let's say, 
we got that going. And me and you, we could fuck around. And I say, like how you help me do like a whole nother one, or we could do one together on a whole nother tip. Comment, wow, comment what you guys think. Should we do? Should we make a sandbox play or NFT play with Kodak? I think with the meta card. I think we should. There's a combined we'll utility talk play there for sure. We don't want to give away too much. What's that? No, so the what's... Discord shit's crazy though. Is your like the Discord? I find we have one too, and they're so supportive. Like they're all like, it's like your that's your loyal it's like fan your base army. right there. Didn't you guys surpass how, 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 many, how many members did you guys get in the time? We got 280,000 in our Discord. Yeah. And Gary V was a big player and in And how space. long, though? In what, a week? In like a week. That many people, 280 in there actively. It's crazy, bro. But that's your loyal people, and that's like your community, basically. Damn. That's your loyal fans. That's who you want behind you, right? So what, is, what, is, what does the rest of the night look like for you? What do you do after this? We go home. Me and him are going to some beach club, going to relax. Aaron, I don't know where you're fucking going. Where's Kodak Black going right now? Shit, I'm going to do it. Lay back. Elevate my leg. Take my little nap right quick. Then I got some... Got a little phone call in a little bit. About three, four hours. Got a phone call with these people. And then sleep. And that's it. And then back to the insanity. And I'm on bed rest right now, man. Yeah. Shit. I didn't know if we could bring any of that up, but obviously, hope you're feeling better. Sure. How often are you hit in the studio now that the album's done? Are you still like actively? I mean, I'm a lab rat. I'm a studio rat, man. Well, I ain't no rat, nothing. I ain't nothing about me, rat. But, you know, um, I guess shout out to the rats, too. But <laughs> all lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> I mean, shit, I'm I'm, I'm a studio a holly, like you know what I'm saying I stay in that lab, but but uh, I've been chilling lately. Yeah, like, you know my album and stuff like that. I think what he's saying is like when you when you put out an album with the success it has, you just take some time off. Yeah, yeah, without getting comfortable and ch chilling. You don't get comfortable, but you take some time off, chill. You just, just chill, I'm chilling, then I stand with my last shit. So I'm giving them a break. I really like be full head first, like head first with it. And then, yo, why you look like one of my people? You look like Frank. Frank? Who's Frank? Frank Delato. Is Frank Delato a good man or a bad man? Uh, he's good people. All right, then if he's good people, then yeah. good. And my good. old security guards. What, what does Frank Lotto do? <laughs> He's I security. promise I'm not Frank Lotto. He, I he, promise. He's a bodyguard. He's a bodyguard. You well, saying he's not, like a bodyguard? He's not going to protect you, Kodak, Kodak unfortunately. I ain't, he's no, saving himself. Me. He's that guy. Not me. Here we go. Look at him. Not Frank Lotto, all right? There you go. <laughs> well, now you don't. No, I'm not, right? Yeah. You got to take the hat off. You, know, Have you ever heard Frank of you know, Buffalo Wild Wings? Yeah. He's the commercial voiceover. He was, yeah. Give, give Kodak a... I can't. I lost my voice. I used to do like 26 sauce and seasonings at Buffalo Wild Wings. He's that voice. But my, no. Yeah, that used to be my voice. Yeah, but I used to be. Who you people do them back there? Do the security. Security. Yeah. More well, done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So show, show. it is what it is. But yeah, yeah. Get that deal back. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't want it back. <laughs> I don't want it back. Oh, sorry, buddy. I don't fuck with their food anymore. They're shitty. Uh, I'm not gonna go. else No, I think we're. I think we're. I think we're great. I think we let Kodak rest up. I think that. I think he gave us his time here. We appreciate that, and really respect uh, how everybody treated us in this uh, in this house here today when we came here. So, we got your back, obviously, and really, yeah, really good stuff here. Big supporters, bro. We love, love, you, man. You know, shit. Yeah, back fair it. thing album out right now. I'm saying. Yeah, I'll put all the links in the description. Make sure you guys download the album. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fire. We slapped it. Bangers, it. bro. Yeah, the number one song got super gremlin, and the number one album out. Back fair thing. And uh, my artist is about to be coming out doing anything this year, you know. KCB, Rico, Rico with the K, goddamn Lil Chris, N1, 26 Big Fredo, BB Essence, a lot of stuff coming out. Scope writing, Kevin Man, Chris, you know, we directing this stuff. Uh, my boy Vinny, we coming out, KTB Media, Sniper Game Films, uh, you know, the NFTs. It's a big projects coming, all that kind of stuff. CBD, all that. That's Steph. Love that. All right, I might get that Let's five go. bands from you. Do you have cash for the 2K game? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I'm on it. 
Okay. Tell me. He's got cash, Bob. He's got Bitcoin got, too. So he's got, he's got, he's got coin and cash. Take all the I take cash all only good. for two K. Hey, so with the Bitcoin, you can put it like, cause I know each coin is like, I don't know what it is at now, but say if each coin is at forty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Forty four right now. It's going good. Russia Ukraine shit's going Oh, so nuts. the money the money passed three hundred. Give us an insight on the Bitcoin rising. I no, I just know that everything all the stuff going on with the Russia hey, Ukraine is cash out. going through the roof. Yeah. Never nah. cash out. It's a horrible nah. situation was going on. It might it might, finna, it might finna go up to sixty or just money. hold that shit. Wait, have you ever have you ever requested Pound to, it, put more into it. Have you ever said, yo, I want to take Bitcoin for my shows? I swear that's what I was saying, bro. Oh, really? That what I would that what I would tell that what I would tell in front of them, tell the people like, okay, if I get three hundred for a show, send me like a hundred in Bitcoin. Oh, that's good. Have they done that or no? They agreed to I'm do that? I'm going to start doing that now. I would take all of it in there. I would take I would take everything in crypto right now. 100%. I don't want to go everything because, you know, I'd be feeling like it's probably just a wave. What do you mean? You take or you just hold that But that's shit. the difference with hold cash. It. You got enough. Hold. Cash hold. isn't going to increase the value. Bitcoin, Bitcoin can, bro. right? Hold, 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 bro. That's my opinion. You take three. I don't even look at. I'd be like, man, what is? What, it, it's probably just a wave right now. Then like, ah, Bitcoin shit. I'm saying that it just crashed. Like Bitcoin ain't worth shit. Anywhere, yeah. huh? I think it's gonna stick going around. Digital. Everything going digital. Yeah. yeah, bro. And you would be able to avoid a, if it was a massive crash. And you'd be able to get a. It's no to keep it in forever. Don't don't touch it. A crash on what, man? No, I'm just saying. I don't think that Bitcoin is gonna. I don't think that Bitcoin's going anywhere. I think okay. Kyle knows a lot more than I do about this stuff. I don't know. So like the money that's in people bank account. That's shit. What y'all think about that? What's that? What? The money that's in people bank account. I think that's going to crash one day. No, I think they keep that. The difference between cash and Bitcoin, you take 300K in cash, it's going to be 300K in cash. You take 300K in Bitcoin, it could turn into 400K, it could turn into 500K, right? There's like, you don't know. There's upside. But cash is always going to stay what it's worth. Bitcoin goes up in value. Right. That's the likelihood where, that's where is it's, it's not it's not going anywhere. I don't think. And you don't pay taxes on that shit. Uh, depends. We'll talk about how, that off the, off the mic. Depends. Off the we'll talk about that off the mic. Off I saw little baby said that too. He's like, I only want crypto now. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sauce too. And more can, people you can and buy it's shit more, and it's, in crypto. This, look how it is. More people say that shit. Says it. Somebody get, like te the, the testimonial to it like that. It just goes up. Right. Bitcoin's not going anywhere. It's gonna go crazy. Bob, Bob thinks he moves the needle with uh, Dogecoin on his Instagram stories. I know, stories. this guy's a fucking no, story not true Dogecoin <laughs> guy. No, that's not true have, at have all. People hit you up I just didn't know what I was Kodak? doing Dogecoin. I just, I, listen. People hit you up and been like, yo, promote my NFT, promote this crypto. Oh, I bet. You you don't do it? No. Don't do that. Yeah, no. can't do that. All right, we hit the one. Cap it out here. Yeah. Been Thank amazing, you, bro. Appreciate amazing, you. amazing time, you. Kodak. We we appreciate it. Dope. Thank you, Kodak. You're the appreciate man. Appreciate you. You're the man. Right hand, baby. You're good people. Right hand. You're good people. So. Why right hand? Is that a thing? Yeah, like, if you give a bitch your left hand, it's like, basically. Like, ah, shit. He's calling you bitch, but yo, yeah. shout out Kodak's mom. My Thank bad. You I'm so not from Pompano. You know? Thank you, Lance. <laughs> appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for coming. It's a lot of fun. Good job, son. Best. Good job. Everybody's good, right? <laughs> yeah. Everybody behaved? Nobody got in trouble? No. Nobody got in trouble. Good. We tried. We tried our best. Can I say something? You ready? From the hooligans in the hood to the Bigfoots in the woods. Obsessed and possessed by Manitou, champ of the Yetis. Through his eyes, I can see that he's left his mark on me. Hooked like no other, it's like Manitou's my brother. Yetis on, you're not alone. Like a camera, I use negatives for my question, Bigfoot. All those Bigfoot whisper wannabes on TV ain't got nothing on me. I have no doubt I can call the killer rushing out. Qualified, certified, Yetified, 100%. Challenge anyone in Yeti. I'm a Bigfoot rebel because they took me to the next level. The best, not like the rest. I can find any Bigfoot nest. Tested and accepted when others run, I stay for fun. Not out for the kill, in it for the thrill. Can't be frightened because I've been enlightened. I've been absorbed. I've been tagged. I've been checked. I've been read to the day I'm dead. 100%.